A Quiet Place was originally intended to be a silent film, writers Scott Beck and Brian Woods grew up watching a lot silent films in college, and took inspiration from the silent films and began working on a story which led them to this film. The film had a limited amount of dialogue and they more relied on sign language. The writers grew up near farmland so they used their experience growing up there and thought it would be the perfect place for the film to take place as they considered it to be dangerous in their upbringing. And a huge portion of the budget went towards 20 tons of corn and hiring farmers to grow them in Dutchess County for filming. Pennywise the Clown is one of the most iconic horror characters. This dancing clown was inspired by a real-life killer and rapist known as John Wayne Gacy. Gacy would dress up as a clown and perform at kids' hospital, charitable events and parties. The scenes at the Bowers house are actually the first scenes filmed and one of the very last scenes filmed was the opening scene. Before filming began the losers spent three weeks together participating in trust exercises, riding bikes, movie nights and other activities to create a bond for the film. And Pennywise's yellow eyes were added in during post-production, but the way actor Bill Skarsgård is able to move his eyes is all natural due to his lizzy eye. Don't Breathe is set in Detroit and the exterior shots of the blind man house were filmed in Detroit. The interior shots were filmed in Pomas, Hungary. And the film pays respect to various horror films, most notably as 1991's The Silence of the Lambs and Cujo 1983. The actors wore lenses during scenes that were shot in the dark which made them look like they had dilated pupils and the lenses also restricted their vision. Initially Jordan Peele wanted Eddie Murphy to take on the role of Chris, but he later had second thoughts because Murphy was too old for the role. The role ended up going to Daniel Kaluuya who take on the role of Chris Washington flawlessly. In a scene where Chris and Rod are seen talking on the phone to one another, they were actually using the phone. But instead of talking to each other they were talking to the director Jordan Peele. When The Exorcist was released in theaters, the film affected audiences as some of them faint, cry and vomit also audience walked out of theaters. Paramedics were even called to treat people. Linda Blair the actor who played the possessed girl Regan McNeil received death threats from pissed off religious zealots who believed that the film glorified Satan. Warner Brothers had to provide security for Blair for six months after the film's release. The role of Chris McNeil, which was played by Ellen Burstyn was originally turned down by Jane Fonda and Audrey Hepburn. In the film, there was a scene where Regan's mother is thrown to the floor after being slapped, the scream you heard her make was real, actor Ellen Burstyn permanently damaged her spine as she was pulled too hard by the cable. After filming wrapped up they kept the alien nest in order, the nest was later used as the Axis chemicals set for the 1989 Tim Burton's Batman film. The film's budget was running low and when it was time to build the set of hypersleep chamber aboard the Silico, it cost $4,300 to build the hypersleep chamber and with their budget running low they couldn't have afford to make all our capsules. They used clever camera tricks like positioning the mirrors and camera angles to make it look like there were 12 chambers. We all know this murderous doll as Chucky or as the name of a soul that is possessing the doll is Charles Lee Ray. But did you know where the name Charles Lee Ray came from? The name is based on actual real-life criminals Charles is based on Charles Manson the infamous criminal and cult leader. Lee comes from Lee Harvey Oswald the guy who murdered John F. Kennedy in 1963 and Ray comes from James Earl Ray the man who assassinated Martin Luther King Jr.